December is upon us this year. Time to welcome those we hold so dear. Give a little more and spread a little cheer. December is upon us this year. Get a tree extra tall to honor those who gave it all, and for each of the families that were told that blue stars have turned to gold. Colors of December. Shine so bright, red and green and gold and silver light. On the coldest morning or the darkest night, the colors of December shine so bright. So get a tree extra tall. Honor those who gave it all, and for each of the families that were told their blue stars had turned to gold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On earth, hold each other tight and don't forget. Keep each other close and don't forget. This day's on a soldier you never met. Hold each other tight and don't forget. Get a tree extra tall to honor those who gave it all, and for each of the families that were told the blue stars have turned to gold. Hallelujah. 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 Sing hallelujah for peace on earth. And peace for the families that were told that blue stars have turned to gold. And peace for the families that were told that blue stars have turned to gold. Ah, thank you very much, everybody. Kelly Zerbis is my special guest on the Humagu tonight. Come on, Kelly, come on the show. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> How you doing, Tom? Super. Thank you kindly for uh putting this together very quickly. And uh, you know, I was mentioning off air that I saw your video that you were playing bittersweet. And that really touched me because I, I remember the sixties and all that in Vietnam and it was yeah. a story, was that about your brother? That you were well, it actually was it kind. It felt like my brother, but it was my uncle, and um, he lived with us before and after he he went to Vietnam. He was a medic on the front lines, 
And so he was a, a young uncle, so he was like my brother. So um, when he came back, it, it, you know, he was only eight or nine years older than me, and so it felt like that. Um, and he, it really affected him. And um, from that moment on, I was obsessed a little bit with the Vietnam War and met a lot of people that fought in that and, and realized what a you know, horrible welcoming home they all, most of them got. And it inspired a lot of my music and a lot of my um, my empathy in life was my empathy for veterans and especially the Vietnam veterans. That, that, I think that's what really helped grow a lot of my empathy in life is is their struggle. Yeah, and uh, I've had your your CD rescue been playing that um, right now and boom 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 some of the tunes like that. But I was really touched by the folk side of you and in that deep. I love that type of music, the seventies and the stories. And again, that's that's what I found for you, Kelly, listening to that part. Yeah, I I really do. I'm you know I'm a singer songwriter first. I always say that you know, but anybody in any style can be a singer songwriter. But I've always kind of had that folk. Cat Stevens was a huge influence for me, and uh, so um, somehow I you know I started singing more rock and roll. And then my husband was from Texas, so he brought out the blues in me and. And I realized that my mother listened to blues my you know when I was young, and I used to listen to that when I was really young. I just didn't pick up on it until later, when I started to realize I was very influenced by um, a lot of Etta James and Aretha and all that that my mom was listening to. So, you know, sometimes we don't know what we're being influenced by until later. Mm-hmm. And, and then your partner mm-hmm. in in the show and everything, uh, Perry Robertson. Now that's been a great influence, your husband and everything. Uh, with the Kelly's lot, uh, tell us about how that's been. Obviously, a great blessing and all those tunes that you guys have created together. Yeah, he's just a really, you know, he we met and and started dating, but and he was a, a sound engineer for mostly for um, film and television. But he he ended up producing a live at the Troubadour CD for us. He was um, not in the band yet, and he produced this live at the Troubadour. And he loved the band. Um, we always have a funny story about when he first came to my first gig. He was worried that I wasn't going to be able to sing. And I was worried that he wouldn't think I could sing because he was kind of a perfectionist. And luckily, he liked how I sang. And, <laughs> and um, you know, I liked how I played the guitar. So he ended up joining the band. And that was about 20 years ago. And, and we started writing music together. And He's very talented. He's he's kind of underrated. He's he comes up with some wonderful riffs and jams and all kinds of things that I get to write melodies and lyrics all over. And um, we really enjoy that part of our um, our life is creating music together. We really do. Yeah, because you got two sides. You have the more acoustic, the slow down side with uh, with Perry, and then you have the whole full band uh, that we hear. We'll be hearing a little bit later with the right now and the boom boom boom. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's Perry's favorite. Perry's favorite's the rock and roll blues, the more electric, and my favorite is more of the duo, the acoustic. Um, but I have a hell of a good time playing the electric. I have a lot of fun on stage. Um, so, but it's you know it's completely different in so many ways. Yeah. Uh, um, I'll tell you what. Let's go and let's play a track right now for everybody. Let's do a let's do the bittersweet right now. A uh, little slow okay. down acoustic. Here we go, Kelly Slot. Thanks, everybody.
something back there all went wrong We gave you blood, we gave you lies We came home, home you criticized Bittersweet, bittersweet Should ever be that alone, bittersweet, bittersweet. to know that a country can learn Oh, I love that whistling. That is so cool. Uh, Kelly is with me right now. Uh, bittersweet with a super tune. Thank you, Kelly, for coming on board. Yeah, I love whistling. I whistled before I sang, you know. Oh, I love whistling. That's, that's uh, I whistle. I whistle to the point of irritating people sometimes. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, yeah, I mentioned I, when I caught the video on this, you and your your partner were doing this live, and that is really cool. How you you know you can't even tell you're whistling at the end of that when you're, you're doing the. It's so neat to watch professional okay. musicians be able to do their stuff. And I was just mentioning. How much fun you are too, because you have quite a collection of videos. Everybody, get out there and see the Kelly's lot. It's fun music to watch, also. Oh, good. Yeah, we're, we we try to. We don't really hold a lot back, so you know, I'm, sometimes I'm kind of goofy and and uh, if, it's, if it's in my brain, it comes out my mouth. So you know, sometimes you get a. If I can make my band laugh, then I'm always then I'm happy. You know, my band will start laughing because they never heard me say that before <laughs> or this well, before or you know that's the best kind of music the best kind of energy the live the fun i'm a big fan of the who and their straight stage presence and the way they performed is what caught me they're not just hey i'm i'm sorry the beatles and the stones and all that but i'm telling you those guys are just standing there the who they were Definitely. not standing oh, yeah. there they were presenting a show besides the music and that's my yes. stuff. that's what i that's got me hooked so Hands and it feels up. like the Who. The Who was very, like a lot of bands. I think I feel like they were very, um, they're very emotional. Yeah, you know, they, they really. It, it that was what was. It wasn't just smashing guitars, and I mean, they were like feeling that stuff. You could tell. That's what oh, I liked about them too. They're the original first jam band. I mean, that they went into the <laughs> the sixteen minute my generation off of Live at Leeds is what got me hooked into that band. I mean, I was very much into the Zeppelin, you know, in my generation. But when I listened to that, that improv that they took my generation for, it's just the bomb. And that's what got yeah. me hooked on. And again, the way they played it too. So again, I was trying to say with you, I watched some of your live stuff. It's fun. You know, the way you, way you are, you're an actress, so you've had the actress background and I can see how you, you come up with your, your music that way. Well, yeah, and, and I, I think I loved acting because I was able to be other people and because, um, you know, I was comfortable with your own skin and I'm not. But when I was saying I'm, that's probably when I'm most comfortable in my own skin is when I'm singing. And that's because I'm presenting stories or, uh, but, but as an actress, yeah, I, you know, I was an actress and I know that um, it, it teaches you.